Hello everybody, I am Hosanna David. Welcome to Ego Eye Opener Outreach. The Bible makes us understand the nature of God. Even in Luke chapter 15, we have the story of the prodigal son. Also, David is described as a man after God's own heart. What am I trying to say this morning? It is about how to deal with guilt. When the prodigal son realized that he had offended his father, he quickly picked up his broken pieces, encouraged himself, and went back to God. David, who sinned against God by killing Uriah and taking his wife, Uriah, who was faithful to the call, who was in his service, serving with the fear of God in his heart. David killed him and took his wife from him. Do you know that God forgave him? God never withdrew the title of a man after God's own heart from him. Why? Because he repented. A lot of times we are driven away from God because of our guilt. Guilt is good. It shows that our conscience, our heart is alive. One of the things, one of the ways you know that you have the Spirit of God is when you commit sin against God and you have guilt in your heart. It means that you have a living conscience. But the guilt shouldn't drive us far away from God. Whenever we have guilt, the guilt should make us produce repentance. And repentance is turning away from our sins and going to God with remorse, with the heart of remorse. So, when you sin, I'm not encouraging sin, but when you sin by mistake, please, as you feel guilty, don't condemn yourself to hell by saying, oh, I am unworthy, I can't go back to God, God will never forgive me. No, don't do that. When you are sorrowful, the sorrow should produce repentance in you, and repentance should draw you back to God with humility. Remember that a broken spirit and a contrite heart, God will never despise. God does not despise a brokenness of heart and a, a lowliness in spirit. Those who thirst and hunger for righteousness, God will surely feel. Don't drive yourself away from God because you have sinned. Whenever you sin, please always come back to God because the Father is always stretching His hand towards us and wanting to uh, bring us home to Himself just as the Father of the prodigal son was always going out to look if the son will be coming. And remember, he was a person that ran to meet the son, even though the son said, I'm not worthy to be your son. Make me, just take me as one of your servants. I can, I'm, I'm be it's better off for me here. I just need to be a servant and not a son. But he commanded that they should kill the best cow, the father, uh, uh, the father ram and and the fattest ram and celebrate him. That is how God wants us to be celebrated. Remember, there is joy in heaven over a single soul that repents. Uh, more than, uh, than a 99 uh, righteous people who no longer needs repentance come back to God. I know the Lord is using this word to call somebody back to himself. Don't say, I am too dirty, I can't come back to God. If the Lord meets you in your sin, it is going to be worse for you. It's going to be terrible. But if He meets you with a heart of repentance, then that is what God actually wants us to do. When God came down and saw Adam and Eve hiding themselves, the guilt drove them away. And He called, where are you? He said, uh, I heard your foot mice, your, 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 your noise the sound of your movement in the garden and i hid myself because i know that i am naked and god asked him who told you that you were naked just imagine a situation whereby uh, god entered the the 
the garden of Eden and he saw Adam and Eve rolling themselves on the ground and confessing their sins to God, he, I think it would have been better for them. The judgment wouldn't have been as terrible as it is today. Please come back to God. Let not your sins, let not guilt drive you far away from God. If this message blesses you, if you find it useful, please share it and let somebody else listen to it. It could just save a soul. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Ego Eye Opener. God bless you. Bye.